Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy and welcome back to How on the Web. Today I'm going to be showing you guys one way you can make a GIF or an animated image for the internet. Now, first off, I'm going to start off by saying that there are many, many, many ways you can make or create animated GIFs for the internet. And this is just one way to do that that uh, will save you a little bit of money uh, so you don't have to use a very expensive editing tool. Uh, I'm going to be using AVI Demux and this is assuming that you already have Photoshop CS6. So I'll be using CS6 and AVI Demux. Now what I like about this tool is it's, it's pretty easy to use. You can um, basically just drop your files in here. And the first thing I like to do is switch this to MP4 outputs because it's the smallest file size and it seems to look the best to me. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit and bring it out here. There we go. Adjust this a little bit more. Okay, so this is the size of the, the actual uh, 720p file. Actually, I think this is, yes, 720p file. I'm going to scrub to the part where I want. It's in like 3322 area. It's this guy right here. This is what I want. Okay, so right here, this is the beginning of the GIF. So what you got to do is just hit the A marker, which means, okay, this is the beginning. That's the beginning of the part that I wanna, want to uh, to save. And that's the end of the part. So it's going to be a really short GIF, but that's good though because we, we can make a, a larger image at a higher quality. All right, so I hit the end. This is the ending point. I'm at the ending point, so I hit B, which is the end marker. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. Make sure, you, again, make sure you have your output as MP4 Muxer. And then hit save. And I usually like to name it number one because it's easier to find. And then just go to Photoshop, File import video frames to layers and we're going to go ahead and open our file now you may have noticed that the icon kind of looks like it's broken that's because i have a uh, codex installed on my pc that my computer doesn't really recognize so i have to fix that so don't change any of these settings and import videos to layer window just go ahead and click ok and it will open the gif and the first thing i'm going to do is change the size to 600 pixels wide that's where i like to start out to see that's the Usually the biggest I like to make them, but if the GIFs are smaller, I can make them even larger. So we'll go ahead and start out with 600. Go ahead and let this play through once. Okay, that looks good right there. He's a confused looking fellow. <laughs> and all I have to do now, since I'm not adding any text or anything like that, is just go to File, Save for Web. It looks beautiful. And it's 5.6, right here you can see it's 5.652 megabytes. It's a pretty good good size. That's right where you usually want to be any larger than that. And you have to make it a little smaller size. So we'll go ahead and click save. We'll name it number one again. So it's going to be one.gif. Just, just for saving purposes, for video purposes. And I will go ahead and upload this to Imager. Since I do have a pro account, I can upload uh, images that are above five megabytes, but you have to have a pro account for that. And it is uploaded and there it is. See how beautiful that is? And you can share this on Reddit, forums, or anywhere else you uh, feel need to, uh, to uh, share your image. Uh, okay, well, we'll go over this real quick again. Since I did that kind of quick, I wanna kind of keep the video short, but I know it's not gonna really be that short. Again, the, the tool is AVI Demux. You can get this at avidemux.org. Uh, and I, I just downloaded it using the SourceForge link. Now, again, this isn't usually how I make my GIFs. I usually use a Sony Vegas editing tool, and I add my text in there. Uh, but I will make another tutorial on how to add text to certain parts of a GIF within Photoshop CS6. So that tutorial will be coming uh, soon in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have or questions you have below the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.